Welcome back. It's getting warm out. We don't want our grass to die, so we're watering it. But we have watering restrictions that we have to pay attention to. And Jamie Garbutt is here to tell us a little bit more, just in case you forgot. Yeah, so they have started. They have been in effect since the beginning of the month, and they'll run till August 31st. So no watering between 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. because that is the hottest part of the day. Mm -hmm. So it's actually going to be bad for your lawn. Um, so if you're an even address, you water on even days, odd address on odd days. Mm -hmm. Do they have people patrolling around and ticketing people? Yeah, so the bylaw officers are out and about. So if they do see you watering, they will stop by your house and let you know. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so uh, the first, if you do get caught, it is a $100 fine. And if you get caught again, and you still haven't listened, it's $200. Really? Yeah, no messing around. <laughs> no messing around. But sometimes if they're really nice, they'll give you a warning to start, maybe. It is up to the discretion of the bylaw officer. So usually in the past, in the beginning month, or the beginning week, uh, people just aren't really into the mindset yet. Um, so they will potentially give you a warning, but that's not set in stone. So it is up to the discretion. There is a bylaw. They can give you a $100 fine. So it's best to just not be watering okay. during the hottest part of the days and make sure you are watering on your day. Um, if you feel like maybe you've got a little planter and it really is thirsty and needs some water, a spring-loaded nozzle can be used anytime, okay. any day, as long as it's spring-loaded. <laughs> she brought that as a specific prop so we could all see it. Right, because if you're all of a sudden the phone rings, like you're washing your car, or watering something, the phone rings, you drop it, it turns off automatically. Yes. Otherwise, your hose, if you were to drop it, you run into the house, next thing you know, three hours later, right. the water's still running. You're wasting water, you could do property damage. And it's just not being a good steward of the right. environment. So. so you can still wash your car, all those things. Just make yeah. sure you're not leaving the hose running. Yeah, exactly. So as long as that spring-loaded nozzle is attached. Mm -hmm. um, now, for some people, I know that they do get treatments done by uh, landscaping companies. You do need to follow the instructions to your landscaping company's directions. So sometimes it is in the middle of the day. So what we would ask is you just call me. I will put you on the variance list. I'll relay that information to the bylaw officer so that you're not um, having to, wow. uh, an unexpected visit. <laughs> so, good to know. Um, uh, is it the EcoSmart team that goes out? Is it? The, the young students, or is it bylaw officers? I'm not sure who's watching. Well, at one point it was the EcoSmart members, um, but now we're finding that um, people are policing themselves because of the, the water meters that are in place now. Yes. Bylaw officers are still out, and sometimes the EcoSmart will just go follow up with certain people if the bylaw officers or someone within our community is like, hey, there's this person's overwatering. Um, sometimes people um, overwater and then the water's running down the street. You want to try to avoid yeah. that. You want the water to stay on your lawn yes. because that's what's growing. Um, so a good rule of thumb too is uh, an inch of water about once a week. Yeah. So you can use a tuna can or you can get one of these little nifty rain gauges. So up to that black line is all you need once a week. Oh, good. You really want to encourage the root system to go down deep into the ground and always leave your, your lawn a little bit higher. So about two to three inches in length. And that'll uh, ensure that you have a deep root system. Okay. So when it is a little bit hotter out, you're going to have a healthier lawn. Okay. We only have about 30 seconds, but I w qu quickly wanted to touch on the fact that uh, those rain barrels that you guys were offering to the yeah. uh, to city residents, uh, a lot of them sold. <laughs> yeah, 1,300. That's really <laughs> Over impressive. 1,300, yeah. So we were able to distribute most of them on Saturday, and then we had an alternate day for the people that couldn't make it. Now, if you did order one and you didn't pick it up, um, the vendor will refund your money. So just get in contact with us, okay. and I'll uh, forward on that information. And you get your money back if you just couldn't make it and then okay impressive turnout though that's good it's, yeah super successful we're mm -hmm. really happy and all the residents seem really happy as well so it's awesome great news. fantastic anything else you want to mention yeah just again don't water between 11 and 6 okay. um, if you need to fill up a pool or a hot tub that's fine you can yeah. do that anytime um, and if your kids want to go play in the sprinkler they can do that at any time as well just make sure that when they are done playing that you turn off the sprinkler oh they can play in the sprinkler they during can. the day yeah they get hot they want to have some fun oh so good to know yeah. good I thought that included excluded but good it does include yeah. we're out of time thank you so much for being here uh, if you have any questions camels.ca we will be back after a quick break stay with us